hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel that channel is deb chanel's 48th world where we are just thankful that you're here yes thank you for subscribing thank you for liking my videos and sharing my videos and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to me thank you thank you thank you subscribe 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 thank you thank you thank you but uh yes being on my channel it's a whirlwind sometimes. Sometimes I put out news articles that y'all just don't believe that I'm breaking. But true enough, I see it on my media feed and I break the story how I desire and how I feel about it. But today we got a sensational story on one of the housewives given straight from my girl, Kirsten Willis at Atlanta Black Star. They got Cynthia Bailey posing all extra and everything, giving us fashion motif. Okay, and her fiance is enjoying every bit of it. He even expressed that he would like to go all through her maze. But some commenters on her account, her social media account, said, Honey, I think you've already been there, done that, and maybe you might have to move on. I don't know. Okay, just depends. They're engaged. Will they make it to the altar? I don't know. And that cat suit is humming like she can be with anybody everybody and whoever she feels she want to be with but that's what we're here to give you the who what when where why and lastly how did this happen in the entertainment and celebrity world of living let's get on into it yes we're talking about fashion we're talking about cynthia bailey blowing it up every day all day all right coming to you again from atlanta black star our girl kirsten willis titled her article i'm sure you already have Cynthia Bailey fans call out fiance flirty comment on her newest fit. Okay, and we say fit, we talking about fashion. Because that got Cynthia Bailey's name all written all over it. Okay, this woman gives us T with the capital F in fashionista. Okay, yeah, Cynthia Bailey getting down. That's pretty much what she can give to the show, too, because she's not... She's more of an introvert. She's not a, a aggressive type person that fights for her, for people to see her unless she's in a, a tight barrier and she's trying to make that quota so they can pick her up for next season, of course. She has to give a little something here and there, okay? Other than that, she just gives us beauty, fashion, and uh, that little person that always want to mend fences and be the, be the bridge over the troubled water. You know where I'm going with it. Y'all know where I'm going with it. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Cynthia Bailey just shared a photo of herself in a fitted jumpsuit and her fiance couldn't help but slide in a flirty remark as a result. Yes, he's kind of freaking. So they got a freaking digger. She got a freaking digger. Man. Okay. Freak, freak, freak. Freak, freak. The freaks come out at night. Mm. The freaks come out at night. Uh, uh, uh. Freaks come out. The freaks come out. Hey, the freaks come out at night. That's what I'm getting from Mr. Mike Hill. Okay, he's a freak. Girl's a freak. The girl's a speaker of me. Yay. Okay, anyway, moving on from that. Uh, going back to the article, it says the star of Bravo's The Real Housewives of Atlanta posed in a black and white outfit with maze pattern on it, styled by Janice of Adoring Impact. Okay, shout out Janice of Adoring Impact with the little maze print outfit that could, she can definitely put a, bla a black blazer on with it, or she can put a black skirt on with it and have that fitted out too. All right, then Cynthia Bailey giving us fashion, 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 fashion. Okay, it says out of the box, Bailey captioned the photo, which was snapped by Atlanta and Washington based entrepreneur known as Famous Dave. Bailey and her co-star, Kenya Moore, has been at the Beacon Atlanta where Bailey's business, the Bailey Wine Cellar, is located. Okay, many fans raved about Bailey's look. Yes, yeah, Cynthia gives us fashion all day long. That's why I said people were sitting up there talking about Kenya is coming out giving us fashion. She always stepped like she come off a runway and all this little oh, foolishness. I said, no, nah, Cynthia Bailey got that hands down. And her second runner-up, or close first runner-up, would be Marlo Hampton. Okay, yes. Those women know how to dip and dive in the clothing apparel world. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay. 
But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Many fans raved about Bailey's look. Love a bodysuit and a ponytail. <coughs> Elevate, darling. Elevate. <coughs> okay. Then another commenter said, Damn, she's bad. With the fire emojis, as in lit. Okay. The outfit is giving me Grace Jones vibes from the movie Vamp. All right. So, trending and elegant at Cynthia Bailey's. And they're giving her hearts. Yes, yes, yes. But her biggest compliment of all may have emerged from Bailey's Fox Sports 1 newscaster, Bo Michael. Yeah, Michael was dropping down his little fire emojis. Like he basically approve of everything that he sees. Okay. He said, I want to travel through every part of that maze. He remarked. Okay. I'm like, mm, he's so nasty. He's so old and nasty. Okay. But I guess he got to get his tricks somehow. He got to get his tricks on his tricky treat. Cynthia Bailey. Okay. But you know, Peter wasn't too impressed with Cynthia's. <laughs> Her bedroom antics. He wasn't impressed at all. He said, yeah, he could barely get some. But I think she was having some female problems back then with her endometriosis. So she was having something going on. But Peter was like, I don't care, honey. Let me hit it from the back. Let me hit it from the side. Let me hit it. Let me hit it. Let me hit it in the thigh. That's what Peter was saying. But honey, you know how they ended up. They amicably divorced. All right. We're going back to this article. It says several fans picked up what Hill was putting down, and while Bailey hasn't replied, her father was dead by remarking about how Hill has already made his mark on his soon-to-be uh, wifey. Okay? And it says, at It's My Kill, I'm sure you already have. Yes, with his nasty self. Okay? And then another comment to say, uh, at my key, okay, do that. But we don't need to know. And I'm like, that's right. Too much information. Too much information. Whew, okay. And then um, another comment wrote, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure you have reached the end, mister. Okay. With a little laughable emoji. The next one says, okay. Laugh out loud, grown folks business. I know that's right. Keep it under wraps. We don't need to know everything. See, that's why I say people be putting too much out on the internet. Then you don't like to come back. Okay, but then going back to this article, it says, Hill has made no secret about his love for the longtime model and reality star. And is typically affectionate rather than lustful. The sportscaster has professed his adoration of Bailey before. One of the earliest times came last year when he raved about a fresh face selfie of the star. All that glam and celebrity ish don't mean much to me, he wrote in the December photos caption. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate what goes into all of that, but when it's all said and done, I love this woman right here. She's just the epitome of beautiful. That's why God continues to give her shine, love, and light. And then it gives Cynthia Bailey number 10, natural beauty. God is good. Okay, all the time. Okay, beauty is only skin deep. Beauty is only skin deep. Okay, but when Cynthia Bailey do comes out, she's full face, made up, and beat to the what they say, gods, okay, so I don't know really what Mar uh, Mike Hill is talking about, because every time they step out, she's looking like she's on 10, okay, and that's the highest you could get, so, oh, fall back, Mark, I mean, Mike, fall back, okay, that's it, my, uh, what do you call it, commentary, not in uh, Kirsten's commentary, but then we go back, to the comments, it says most recently or more recently, Bailey had to come to her man's defense when fans deemed this comment on a photo of the pair as corny. Well, Cynthia, he does be making some corny um, analogies or whatever he wants to put out on social media. Sometimes it does seem a little corny. And I think he's big enough to take up for himself. I don't think he needs you to be coming to his defense, baby girl. Play your role, honey. Play your role. Because when you're getting dragged through these streets or whatever, people want to talk about you. He don't say nothing. He know it's not true because, you know, he's with you or whatever. But he ain't getting none of them comments trying to um, to um, protect you in any way. Come on, Seth. You know better. 
we grown out here. People gonna make opinions all day long. Don't mean you have to respond to every last one of them, okay? And he, you definitely don't need to be uh, taken up for your grown ass husband, okay? Soon to be, okay? Moving back to the article, it says, just because you don't see as much of her, don't ever think she's not in the picture. Stronger than ever. C. Hill, Cynthia Beta 10, Love Wins. Hashtag is all this hashtag, okay? Prospering, prospering and growing. More coming soon, Hill said, of a June photo, which shows more of him than it did of her. Okay. Um, putting her in the shadows. That's where he's putting her. She's okay with it. Hey, as long as she's okay with it, we fine with it, right? Right. Okay, because we ain't got to lay down with them. We ain't got to eat with them. And we damn sure ain't got to walk with them. Okay? That's Cynthia's boat. <laughs> so she goes wherever he goes. If she walks behind him while he's walking in front, maybe they don't step up to another culture where that's accepted. But if you ain't walking on the side of him, honey, I couldn't walk no other place with him. Okay? But anyway, Cynthia, that's you, not me. And towards the end of the comments of the article, it says, after one day, see her say, he was a cornball. Bailey replied at Jacob and Re, so am I, and we are happy cornballs. Have a blessed day. See, Cynthia, that's what I'm talking about. I'm always throwing yourself in the mix, baby girl, when you don't need to. Just because haters or people with opinions that differ from what you feel, you ain't got to come back. Ne come back to them negative you would just say okay thank you for responding thank you for giving your opinion you know everybody has one these days whether it's good or bad they all have them okay <clears throat> but like i said mike has been in the commentary world for a lot longer than you have you definitely been in the model world and um i'm sure you get your what you call it, critiques or criticisms from models or not models, but advertisers or whatnot or what they're looking for in the uh, modeling world, or advertising world. But, you know, unless you get into Mike's world, which is sports, and you may or may not know what you're talking about, meaning very savvy with the arena of entertainment. Some people might be drilling Mike for fail. You know what I'm saying? Like he don't know what he's talking about. Where did he get his... Uh, commentary skills or, or whatever he's reporting on. He's not really getting it up to par. He's used to all of that. But, of course, you've had uh, how many seasons on the Housewives. You should be uh, very familiar with criticism and critiques of everything you do on the show. But uh, it just is what it is. If they let the man fight his own battles. You ain't got to go to war with him. Let him go. Especially if he put the stuff out there. Let him be at war with himself. With whatever he uh, commented. Don't take up for that man. All right? He ain't even married to him yet. Shoot. And he might be doing some shady shit as well. So you don't need to be taking up for him. Let him take up for himself. Okay? Let him take up for himself. All right. But that's all I got for this video. I was just trying to show the difference of, you know, y'all, well, not y'all, but some people may be out there saying, oh, no, Kenya knows how fast she, she gets down. She be slaying in them streets. See, that's a different type of fashion y'all may be talking about. This is fashion out there in the advertising world. This is what they like. All right. And Cynthia is definitely showing it. She's not showing that much cleavage, but in Kenya's videos or in Kenya's pictures, she's always showing cleavage, 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 cleavage. I know sex sales. I know it is a hot commodity out there. But sometimes you got to digress yourself and look classy and not trashes, you know? It's just a good look, a good look to have, a good look to foster, especially when you got a young daughter growing up and more than likely want to emulate everything you say and do because that's mama and mama can't do it no wrong. You know what I'm saying? Same like little boys. They emulate their fathers. They think they dads are just number one dad. They love and, and see and want to do everything uh, that they see their dads doing. So that's all I'm saying. Show less cleavage. Give the mind something else to entertain itself with how and what you may look like under them clothes. Don't give it all out. Okay? Don't give it all out. Because then who want to buy it later on? That's all I'm saying. But that's all I got for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video because I'm tired. I work today. Okay? 
But y'all be blessed. Y'all take care. And thank you for uh, coming to the channel, seeing what I had on it today as far as entertainment news. And if you haven't done so, please like, comment, and subscribe. And share my videos. But mostly, you know I like when you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You like, like, like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And you like, like, like. Y'all be blessed. Peace.